Most people have a favorite cut of steak, but do you really know why you prefer what you do? We have Tim Rohde back with us from Cashwise to really explain the difference in cuts of meats before you have your next barbecue. And last week we had you on talking about different fruits, how you know what's in season, and how you know the best one to pick. So it kind of makes right. sense. We went from fruit to steak. I feel like we should know this, but I don't necessarily. You go into the meat department of Cashwise and it can be a little overwhelming because you have so much meat. Lots of different choices. Kind of depends on personal taste. You know, so we brought an array of product here for kind of every beef lover. So it depends on what you're looking for. Certain people like a little less fat, so like a top sirloin, a lot leaner cut, um, but a little less flavor. You sacrifice some of the, the flavor with the lack of fat. But then you move your way up through the cuts and the New York strip, the side of the T-bone steak, uh, very popular, especially the tail piece. And then the ribeye is kind of the Cadillac of steaks as far as um, with the marbling that it provides and tenderness and flavor. And then we have a cut that's a little lesser known. This is called a tri-tip and um, brought our backyard barbecue chef along today. So he's cooked up some of these that you can try. So this tri-tip's a little bit more unique um, you cook it a little bit like a roast, but you can do it on a grill. Um, so you get that nice sear to the outside, but it leaves a real tender, um, tender taste inside and lots of good flavor. These are all so big, they look like roasts. So yeah. is the tri-tip better than, because you just called this the Cadillac. Yeah, so... Um, so what is this, if that's the Cadillac? The tri-tip is a cut of meat that is a little less expensive. So if you're oh. feeding a little bit larger group, this goes a little bit further because you cut it into medallions. So um, you can get a few more servings out of a steak like this. This is for if you really need your red meat fix and want that flavor and juiciness, yeah. um, the ribeye is one of the best, so. Tim, can I give you another special thank you for being here, bringing us food? I told Lisa when, we, when I agreed to come on this show that I needed food here, so thank you again for being here. My question is, now I go to a restaurant or I'm around buddies and they all like their steaks cooked a different way. Do you have... Yeah. Do you, is there one that's better than the other? Is it all personal preference? What do you think? Well, one of the ways that you can balance that out, you got a group and the more done people and the less done people, you know, what I do at home is I get um, the more done people a little thinner cut because then oh. your timing works out on the grill a little bit better because yeah. you still want to get that good sear on all sides and you want the steaks to come off the grill about the sure. same time. So one way to do that is just get a thinner cut for the people that like a little more done. Are certain cuts better at, at certain temperatures as well i mean when we're talking because you can't you want your like prime rib at medium rare right yeah. or is that just me like thinking that but it, it, you don't want that medium well right right that makes it really tough and you know my personal preference is a little bit more like this top sirloin here we have that more bright red center or this ribeye here with that more bright red center that's more all personal preference you have some people that will run away from that but i feel like there's more flavor there but that's all personal preference so and well, then, I think they all look delicious. <laughs> <laughs> well, please feel free to try something. So, you know what? Why don't you sample a few and see what you think? Because I have a question as you sample. Oh. I heard this one time oh, from a wow. backyard okay. barbecue. It's like, don't tell me twice. I will dig in. <laughs> uh, so it smells delicious. And from what I've heard from what you guys do at backyard barbecues, it's, the recipe is not that fancy. It's not very complicated. And we actually do everything right on the grill. Um, I, I stole this thing from a guy that we did business with years ago, and he's actually one of our major beef suppliers for Omaha Beef. But um, soy sauce, garlic, salt, and black pepper. And we do all of that right on the grill. Um, and then as we turn, do the same thing to the other side. Creates a nice carameling. So as Stu is cooking today, you got that nice cross seared grill mark on there so that it kind of sears in those juices. They were able to rest a good amount of time. So... We stole that from well, you guys. We do that all the time, and it's delicious. Was that good? It was amazing. Now, okay. I don't think I'm a very great food critic because I like a lot of things, but I promise you that was Okay, so well what did done. he, what well did he try? What was uh, you that? tried this one here. This is a New York strip. Okay. okay. So, so should need, I probably try you, all you of them? You need to try all of them. I think you should try okay. all of them. <laughs> and tell us if you can really tell the difference. I Maybe jump to the ribeye once okay. and see what you think okay. as far as the tenderness Lisa, goes. Lisa, you're not getting in on this? I know. I should. <laughs> Okay, so is that that's the biggest difference? Are we going to tell flavor and tenderness in the different cuts? Yes, so the, the New York strip is a little less tender, but it's a lot leaner. So there's a lot of people that really don't like that fat cap, you know, so like if you look at a steak like a ribeye or a New York strip, they have a nice cap on there. And that's important to get help with the flavoring. And I always look for this on a ribeye steak 
this is a, the cap muscle. I always look for a decent cap because that is the most tender part of that steak. And then this fat will kind of dissolve into the meat and create more flavor. I'm just going to keep going. Yeah. I, like when it, I like the idea of it dissolving. Okay, and so this is, this is right here, right? That's the tri-tip. A little, do I got again, here? a little leaner cut. This one? That's uh, top sirloin. Oh, okay. I always know I can't talk about grind all <laughs> So I always like the sirloin, but I feel like maybe I'm, I'm, I need to take it up a notch. Well, it's good to experiment. Try other things and see what you might be missing. <laughs> you know what I like too, and I, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to have you come on, because I do shop at Cashwise, and I do ask the guys behind the counter sometimes, because they, they actually know their stuff, and if you're kind oh, of yeah. between some uh, you know, options, is and that what's nice about asking? Absolutely, because they have a great idea what's, what's hot right now. Um, we brought our four brothers, USDA certified um, Hereford beef today, but we also have our 1881, which is a step up from that. Um, it is um, more marbling, uh, more tenderness, uh, kind of takes it up a notch from this level. You'll pay a little bit more for it because it's more of a premium product, but it's money well spent. Mm, okay. Well, just in time for uh, us eating. We barely ate any. You should eat some well, more. Well, I'm going to wait till the camera's Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Don't want to eat too much because we're going to put Kyle to work next with some great summer workouts that you can do at the lake. Stay with us.